Now I'm going to show you how, how I made a roof or a hard top for this boat and I wanted it to look like this. This was in my head for a long time and when I finally got started I had five days to make this from scratch. So I built this framework out of this sketch that I've had in my head for half a year <laughs> and um, sort of more or less built my way through it. I bought some uh, melamine sheets and um, what you see here is the sunroof and behind that far behind here you will see a archer bow um, that I also will be building soon. Uh, I'm leaning here the outsides a bit upwards to, so what you see now is the ceiling so I want the water to sort of fall off the, the edge and the reason why I'm doing this bow or the, the arc in the end here is because I'm going to uh, attach the, the canvas to that with a zipper so it's going to be easy to uh, adjust and you know take away when needed uh, and also one of the objectives that I had with this roof uh, was that I wanted to make it so so sturdy that uh, I could sit upon it and you know stand up and dive from it and um, yeah I just had to make it really solid one of the issues I had was to make the cap of the roof just above the, the windshield to lean forward a bit. Um, eventually I just made these boards uh, leaning a bit forward upwards here in this form. And yeah, it is what it is. Here you can see that I grinded down the edges of the inside of the, the sunroof since I need to do um, fiberglass everything in and um, yeah, I need to get it stick and, and I don't want to have a 90 degree angle here because that's going to be a tricky tricky part to fix. So as you can see here it's starting to take shape and uh, I think this was pretty much one day work where we are right now. Here, here, here again you can see the sort of the final result, at least what I had in mind. And one of the the finer drawings that I had. So here you can see I got the, the sides up now as well and I think at this point in time I also have made some radius fixes here with some plaster if I'm not mistaken which also was a big mess. It was uh, really hot these, kind of, these days that I was working under the, the carport and um, like 30, 30 degrees Celsius or something like that, so it's really hot. And now that this is done and I've been grinding off the access, I've also now put on, I think, two layers of gel coat here. And I'm just about to start uh, adding some cloth and mat. 450 mat and then 600 biaxial cloth taking turns and that was also kind of a tricky part since it was so hot and humid so uh, this was a lot more work than I actually thought so just laying out all glass a lot of glass uh, but also it, it uh, sort of hardened extremely quick so I had to take just short turns and then roll it out and uh, make sure it got no air bubbles and then just move on move on fairly quickly. Here's the, the first, I think, four layers. And um, yeah, it's starting to, to take shape at least. And again, I need to make this really solid in order to be able to stand on top of this. It's kind of a, kind of a big thing, this. Uh, here you can see in the bow in the back and now starting to fill in some divina cell i think divina cell 60 here uh, and uh, something used for simple construction is very light and not that um, is it very good as a material core material in these kind of um, molds or, or work but not for anything more than that i think i also filled in the gaps with fiberglass, polyester and cabbacil just to get the nice radius. 
just in in the sort of corners between the the sides and the divinity cells so I could work with more fiberglass and, and um, um, matte dots on top of this later on so here you, see, you can see I also grinded down the edges in order to keep on working with the fiberglass mats and cloths all over the place and it's starting to look good I also used some Lanter Soric composite um, material, core material as well here just to make it even thicker so now I'm trying to pop this out of the form uh, it uh, was kind of stuck for a long time uh, due to the plaster but it eventually it, it um, loosened up and also I realized that the, the thick um, fiberglass sort of mold just around the sun roof made everything really hard to pop so I had to cut that down also and right now you can see the finished or well not finished but the, the in the early stages finished roof so now I just need to go over this with uh, uh, sanding everything down and filling up the gaps and uh, fixing everything but it looked solid and it felt good it was fairly light but it was uh, solid and uh, yeah mission completed so far after this uh, I sort of turned it up again uh, and just went all over it with the, the sander When this was done I realized that I really needed a hatch for the sunroof so I started fixing that since I had everything just geared up and, and ready on the carport. So it was quickly done and um, yeah that's that's what I'm doing right now taking away the plaster and just sanding it and making it f as, as good as it gets at this point in time. Then I need to of course make the, the finished product much better than it looks today but uh, this was the process to uh, at least get it onto the boat. When this was done, I called up my neighbors and rented a truck and then moved this from my yard into the um, boat yard and uh, placed it on top of the boat. And this, yeah, I was so ner nervous, but um, it actually looked very, very nice. Uh, a bit smaller than I had anticipated uh, but still very good so it took about one week to get to this point uh, I'm very happy it was very well aligned with the the framework and I can stand on top of it and it holds my weight that was a bit scary to be honest here I've just put on some more um, paint just to make it look fairly good before I covered it uh, and then some some beautiful pics from the, the boat jar to end this film but it's starting to take shape <laughs> 